Today, on this fine Valentine's Day, Valera, won't you be mine? Uh, nothing, nothing beats waking up on a nice Valentine's Day, other than some toast made from your significant other. Feel a light vein? That's a good card. And she is quite the babe as well. I wonder how good a Nubarak is. Seems too slow. Probably too slow. But pretty fun. Just win the game if I get the a Nubarak off late game. Well, not win the game. Eventually win the game. Well, let's try them out. I haven't had the chance to. And then I basically don't have to pick any late game cards. Love is often decided by throwing bombs at random people. Let's see, ship's cannon or youthful brewmaster. The ship's cannon has some synergy because Rogue has some pirates. I do have two cards that are good to brew back so far though. I think given that I have these two cards, I'm obligated to big panda here. Though the cannon is great for the pirating. Pillager and deadly poison, they're both good. Good the deadly though. It's a good combo enabler. It's a good card. Oh, good old shredder. Wow, so far this arena is insane. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Colt. Another shredder. Don't let those significant others shred your life apart. Viscery. Pyro. Auto Barber. Shredder. So far, this is looking like it might be better than a constructed deck since I have three Shredder. Oh my gosh, Gorilla Bot with three Shredder and a Barber. I already got a Coat Master. All right. Mech Warper? Huh, okay, well this is a little bit of a disappointment. But, can't all be winners. I think I hit it very hard. I have a lot of sticky minions, so this buff will apply a lot of the time. Barber? Yeti? Mechanical? <laughs> Under City Valiant. Let's see, go to the Dark Scale Healer. Master of Disguise, or a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and Dagger. I have enough 2 drops, I'll take the 4. Villager. Huge Toad. That's a good 3. That's a good 1. That's another Gorilla Bot. <laughs> That's a flame juggler. I should have thought about Sap, but I have so many mech that Gorilla Bot has got to be insane. Is Cogmaster good? I have a lot of twos already, but Flame Juggler is really good, especially in Rogue. But it's quite tempting to just go with the mech theme, isn't it? One mana, three, two. I don't need Light Game. I have a new Barak. As tempting as it is to take Cogmaster, I think the amount of two drops that I have that I want to play on two, because the auto barbers I don't necessarily want to play on two. Or that many, so I'm gonna go with the juggler. But it is, of course, very close. Another Yeti. I have way too many twos and fours. That's a sap, so glad I didn't pick the sap earlier. Another mechanical Yeti. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Come on, Mech Warper. Can't get Mech Warper last pick because it's at, always at least rare. Oh, hey, that's some late game. Okay, what an arena. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, yes, there it is. Okay. That's an arena. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> what a filthy deck. It's a shame that you can only get 12 max wins because this deck is going places. A lot of two drops. Brewmaster, Pyro, Valiant, Mech Warper, Huge Toad, Flame Juggler. That's six. Most of the time, I will want to dagger up. A lot of the time, I'll want to dagger up because Goblin Auto Barber can be played afterwards. Some good threes. Raid Leader is probably the weakest card. Or three Shredders, two Mechanical Yetis, and two Gorilla Bots. It's probably the highest quality set of fours I've ever gotten. Not a lot of late game, but that's fine because the late game is a new Varak and Ysera. So. 
This is pretty much perfect. The only thing that could go better is I uh, get more mech warpers and spider tanks, but you can't get everything. I predict this deck will go 12 wins. The light shall bring victory. Watch your back. Oh man, I'd forgotten that I've gotten even more stuff to Brewmaster. I think I keep this. Probably Dagger on turn 2. Dagger into Goblin Auto Barber into Goblin Auto Barber Useful Brewmaster. Something something. Maybe Flame Juggler. Welcome to the Nah, that card's pretty weak. No real need to play this. Keep it for utility. Welcome to the All right, he's drafted two extra death rattle cards. Here we go. The damned stand ready. Probably worth deadly poisoning just for that one card. I could just go Shredder. Now it's good to kill this right now. Could try hitting that and then playing Flame Juggler, and trying to get the 50-50. Alternatives. Hit that. Deadly poison. Play a two. Well, let's go for the. Let's go for the fifty fifty. If I miss, if I miss, it should be okay. If I hit, I just win. I'll just win, but it's pretty good. Get a fresh dagger for my barber poison. What does the future? Or Poison Shredder. Play the normal Yeti instead of Mechanical Yeti, since the Mechanical Yeti has some synergy with it. Here we go. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Hmm, time for some dark scale healer value. That's a Jormungar. 4, 8, 12, 15. Do I ignore the Jormungar? So many options. Just hit face with it all. 15, 17, puts him at 6. Yeah, Jormungar, you're too much trouble. Let just play it all. Oh, I get punished. Seems unlikely. Let me change your mind. What's in the box? I want to find out first. Well played. I think I'll coin out Dagger. Yeah, it's a pretty good start. Now that I have a pyromancer and he has that, never mind. I think what happens is on turn two I dagger. If he reveals the infiltrator, I'll kill it. If he doesn't reveal the infiltrator, on turn three I'll go pyro coin barber. Take a little bit of damage. It's okay. 
This looks like a really weak opening, but he has no idea of the power that I hold in my hand. Nice, I can actually clear the board. That's a swing. Hit weapon barber. That's pretty good. Do I have anything better? All the plays are so good. Let's do this then. If it worked for a raid leader. This could look like a constructed deck. Poor raid leader. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. Yeah. I actually should probably have used the weapon instead of that. Oh well. These plays are also good. Hit it very hard. Handle it. Ha, this guy's toast. For the Lich King. Hurry up. Portals online. Four, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Just need one damage. What's in the box? It's one damage. 4, 8, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, let's place this next to the Barber crew. Hit it very hard. Here we go. Lights out. In some decks, I probably would have been tempted to keep Shredder, because Shredder is a really good 4-drop. But in this deck, I have a lot of good 4-drops. So I'm going for a 2-drop. And SI7. And stuff. That's a 2. Hmm. Hand has good cards, but it has a lot of different ways to play it. Could be Dagger turn 2, could be Brewmaster turn 2. All of these cards have battle cries. If I play the dagger, I can dagger plus horse rider. If I play this two drop, I get to uh, actually kill the two three. I'm gonna play the tempo card here. I mean, this plus this is really tempting, but tempo tempo. The benefit of not hitting that is I can possibly get two da damage in. And if I didn't hit it, then possibly I could have done that plus Fire Blast, which would have been really bad. He's certainly keeping the tempo up here. Sap that for tempo. And I guess I coin out the Master of Disguise. Enter the shadows. Goblin Auto Barber plus Gorilla Bot is a play. Can actually kill this if I wanted to, but that's it's a little unnecessary right now. This thing wants to use to someone wants to trade. I'll do Barber Gorilla. Kill Mana Worm. It's nine, which is a lot of damage. This definitely plays on curve. Six. 
Sensei, Yeti, Jeeves. Between Sensei and Yeti, I think I'll go with the Sensei. Going for the trades. Dark scale healer will allow me to viscerate that and keep this alive. Looks good. Or rather, I wanted to play bomb lobber, right? Huh, I can bomb lobber the next thing. Dark scale healer, hit, hit, eviscerate. Alternative plays. Play the bomb lobber. No, because then this doesn't always survive. Yeah, this I think is better. There will always be things to bomb lobber. That's really good. He's fighting. Guess I go Colt Master Shredder. And I leave the 6-6. Six -six. Since otherwise I trade both into that. 6-6, six, six, which is not very good. Wait, maybe I should have gone Shredder Sensei. Trade the 4-5 into the... Mm, regrets. Slightly. I think this is fine. Maybe better to send the 4-5 there, though. And then go 4-5 uh, Sensei Dagger. Oh. Well. Man, lost the game. Sadness. Although I think that may have been because I didn't go Sensei Shredder. Maybe he has Pyro in. Pyro in hand too. Who knows? Tempted to play Dagger, because then I can kill the 3-2. I'm not going to play the Barber on turn 4 anyway. I'll do the slow play this turn. Could easily be a 3-2. for a surprise answer to Shredder. A surprising answer. Hmm. It's a little bit scary, but never muster, hopefully. Let me think. Please, no. Alright. Nothing happening. Oh, Cold Master double draw. I'll take it. Ooh, fortunately, he just drew the muster. That muster is still very good for him. Join. 
Wow. Okay. Well, he draws four. At least I draw two. Drew two. So it kind of balances a little bit. Maybe I'll get a really good two drop. <laughs> well. Oh my god. Alright, I have a good seven drop. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's tough. Here we go. Hmm, no mech out. Two, three, eight. It's a good next turn play. I have a lot of tempo on the board, just gotta make sure not to run out of value. Which is difficult to pull off. Kill that, hit that. No, no, no. Not even hit that. Just kill that. Buccaneer, hit that. Bomb lover that. I have a lot of tempo. Careful. Once I get a mech, I'll have a lot of value. A lot of mechs left in the deck, yes. Hope to draw a 9 drop or a mech. I hope you like my invention. find it a little surprising he needed to draw a card. It's a little promising, maybe his hand isn't amazing. Maybe. That's a mech. Okay, Goblin Auto Barber lets me kill the 4-3. Hmm. Iron Sensei. It's a lot of value over time. I kind of want a coin to eviscerate. I go Iron Sensei. It's a little scary. 3 7 weapon. No, 4 8 weapon. Uh, Iron Sensei, though. No, I don't want to play the Iron Sensei while he's got a cog hammer out. It's not as good. If I use the weapon, I guess I do this and this into that. Hmm. Let's start with Discover. Oh my gosh. Or Blinktron's not bad because he's got a weapon. But I have a lot of guys. Definitely enhance it. Um, hmm. It's one of those things that looks really good, but might not actually be that good. Pretty good. All the cards he drew gave him some strong plays, but looks like I out-tempoed him. And the Gorilla Butts let me keep up with the cards. Your magic shall not save you. Alright, I have four. It's always going to be 3 plus 4. Yeah. There's different ways to do it, but this should be best. I have 3, 4, 5, 6. Come close and listen. I'm kind of scared I'd lose uh, another one there. Watch your back. I always do.
<laughs> Save the coin for the pyro. Some utility there. Entirely possible that I won't end up using the pyro with the coin though. Okay. A little bit inefficient, but he also made an inefficient play. Could have uh, went for some tempo by playing the poison and then playing a two drop. That seems quite wasteful, though. Good old Doctor Four. I was thinking about Coin Bomber. Coin Bomber was a strong contention for a play to be made. Was in strong contention. Too bad. Pretty good. And I'll continue to have a good curve too. He's running low on cards. Do I want to play the mechanical version? If I don't play the mechanical version, the next turn I can do a mechanical version and the gorilla bot. How likely is it that I'm going to want to play gorilla bot next turn? It's one of the yetis, of course. It's, the question is which yeti is it? How likely is it from deal with four or five? Eh. I'm gonna play the furry version. This is no place for mortals. All right, I'll do this. Auto Barber is good. Can kill the fort too. Yeah, I'll take it. Here we go. Thank you. Sign up today. This raid leader will push the threes into fours. You can uh, discover another card. Pyro coin. Is that any good? That also allows these to trade. I do want the 4 2 to go into one of these. I don't even need raid later, I can just play Valiant. Cold Master is surely correct. 4 7, 10, 12. Did I have lethal? 13, 14, 15, 16. I probably didn't. Let's see. Raid leader. No. Valiant. Coin Shredder. You have so many good plays. Too bad. Three, six, seven. I have lethal, but I kind of want to play you, Sarah. But I'll play lethal. Hit it very hard. Must 
protect the one. Watch your back. It's a little less exciting than my usual starts, but a coin into a 3-2 into a 3-2 is still a good play. Especially when one of them is under City Valiant. Hopefully he plays a 2-1. That'd be awesome. Too bad. Buccaneer. He just uses his hero power though. On turn 3 I want to go Buccaneer hero power. So that I think means going Brewmaster into Huge Toad into Buccaneer hero power into Valiant in a very late game stage. So many options. Locking the weapon. Ooh, this didn't die. Hmm. But I guess it doesn't matter much at the moment. Well, I can do that and that. And, or if I could deal one damage, that would work. Maybe I play Pillager. Oh, lucky me. Pillager is the better early gameplay. Okay, I can play a 4 plus a coin too and kill that. Was that part of the intended plan? I'd like to say I thought of this, but I didn't. But it works out very well. Swipe's a good card, and I traded it for, like, not even one for one. He just really wanted his Darnassus Aspirant not to die. Alright, I'll just weapon up. It means I lose my 3-2, but... Oh well, I get a Discover. Oh, Foe Reaper. That's a fun card. Looks to be turn 8 play. Yeah, the Senseis come up a lot. Class cards come up three times as often from Discover. Pick this especially because it's Druid. Druid doesn't have hard kill, generally. This is also good, but this is also good. Ooh, discounts. Discounts and value. Go lower. I don't think there's a single one drop that I would draw, so I'm gonna do this and not get the discount. Maybe there's a, a four that I would play. That seems a little bit unlikely. Pretty tough board to deal with. I'm not going to play Shredder just because I might get Doomsayer. That's so silly. 4, 6, 9. 4, 7. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Yeah! Here we go. Ah, get behind me.
Still haven't actually played any of Anubarak or Ysera, showing the possibly unnecessariness of big finishers. Hmm, Quinn Dagger. That means that it is likely to go Auto Barber. So I kind of want to avoid playing Huge Toad. So I'm going to Dagger. Then if he plays Auto Barber, I'll Auto Barber and kill his Auto Barber. Which I guess will be even. Or I could stay on curve and go Huge Toad, Deadly Poison. That doesn't really help that much. Eh, it's even. Here we go. Okay, I got two things to hit with this, which is nice. Oh, okay. Hmm. Here we go. So he's five here. So I should go Tomb Pillager. Takes advantage of him not perfectly being able to kill this, whereas he would be able to perfectly attack into five on the Yeti. It's always a third of Eviscerate, which would suck. But Eviscerate plus weapon would do it too. Eh, when... Point for me. Oh, this does not feel good. If I'd gone Yeti instead, well no, I would just be at two more health. Not a big deal. Come on. Oh. I wouldn't have had to hit that if that had hit. Here we go. Okay, that's a good burst card. He's actually kind of close to dying as well. We should both be scared of each other. Harvest Golem fits the curve well. I would pick Har I would pick Fell Reaver if I had the mana. Uh, he has five. Well, obviously I'm not gonna kill it. I kill him for twelve. I hit him for twelve. I have seven. Um, it's eleven, twelve. Harvest Golem's got to be best. Looks like this game is ending the next turn. Possibly. Hope I don't get punished for betrayal here. Thank you. Phew, looks like I win. That was a close one. That's a curve. Still a curve. Drink with me, friend. Drag no stupid. Hmm. Don't worry, love. The cavalry is here. Too slow for the mage to try to fire blast this out. It's time. Get up. Actually, a few choices here. Can Master disguise it and keep it intact? 4-4 four, four trades of 4-4. Four, four. Or I can play the Shredder, which is a strong play. He possibly uses the 4-4 four, four to hit the 2-1 and then fire blasts. I'm going to do the Master of Disguise. Yeah. Get the it actually occurs to me that it doesn't matter that much. 
Because he can always accidentally hit the stealth minion anyways. Oh, but then he can't fire blast. Enter the shadows. So that would be really good if he hit it. If he accidentally hits the 2-1, then I can just hit back. So he has a 25% chance of complete disaster. Okay. This turns out to be good for me, I can bomb lob it. Also, I do not have to actually ever attack with this, although I should. So I want to reveal the stuff. Yeah, he wants to fire blast that anyways, might as well. Oh, that's right, this would come out of stealth. Never mind on the 25% disaster. Oh, that's rough. What's in the box? Another faux reaper 4000. Thank you. I think I can afford to go face here. If he wants to flame strike, it should work out anyways. I'll just push the 4 damage in. There's nothing too good for that to trade into. Ooh, he chose not to trade. Alright, hit it very hard. And Colt Master? Yeah, I'll draw two. Pretty unlikely that I would be holding a flame strike and not using it the last turn. Might have just gotten one now, but no. Might go dark scale healer if he fire blasts raid leader. Yeah. Oh, Reaper is crying. Won't see play. Well played. Well played. Here, I have to show off, right? Safety restrictions. Here we go. 